Oh, hi there. How long have you guys been waiting? Never mind that. If you press continue down below, we can get started with the rest of the game. <laughs> I wonder if you made the right choices last time. Let's see what you'll do today. I'm glad you made these decisions last time. This is our story. Interesting. Huh, very curious. Okay. Look, her and I both know we didn't make the right Wait. choices. Uh, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Oh. I love how many layers that they add in this to make you feel just a little bit more involved in the game. As you wish. As you wish. Oh, Princess Bride. It's going to go on 17%. Oh, 22. It's a lot to load. I get it. I get it. It's fair. 38. 41. Kara, Luther. And Alice, yes. Luther and I are now close. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. I do like that it's we're gonna be all right. We're getting the perspective. We're almost there. We're getting to see what happens after like the consequent like other outfalls. Outfalls, other like situations after the fact of what Marcus is doing too and what he's leading overall. You know? How it's impacting others. Love the music, girl. With oh. all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Wow. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. Mm. How about some music instead? Fair enough. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. Wow, I didn't know she was dropping us it's off. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? I love Rose. And be careful. I didn't realize our story was going to intersect with Marcus. Take care of them. I should have remembered that. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Okay. We have a bus to catch. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Wait, let's see if there's anything. All right, so we do need to find Jericho first and then get to the bus. I thought we were gonna go across the river on like a boat for some reason. I thought we were gonna be like canoeing across. <laughs> I don't know why. Is there anything else? Whoa! 
they're all colliding. All of the stories are colliding. Oh no! Interesting. And he's dressed to cover the fact that he's an android. Well, no, he's still an android. I mean, he's an android pretending to be a deviant android, but I feel like at this point we are a deviant android, realistically. I'm amazed with how many androids, and they still never detected Jericho. Connor's the first person to detect Jericho. It just seems crazy to me. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. Hmm. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen, oh, and the authorities will come to collect your android. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids weren't doing any harm. There, there should be some fires. The city. Androids were hanged all along Woodward Avenue. Oh. There were androids all over the square. And when the police arrived, and they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people, with people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian mm. army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. So it wouldn't just be the blue blood. The of the United Nations, Douglas Corwell, has called for the organization of an international conference on the status of the Arctic. In any case, the danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out for the moment. Interesting. That's up. Here we go. Hmm. Because we know the Russian androids didn't have blue blood, and then China created something similar to blue blood, but not identical. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. She still has a fever. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, oh, that's what we're going for. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Oh. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. He's been trying to tell us the whole time, too. Oh, they're all going to... Oh, that's right. There's no way that Marcus isn't, like, the most sought-after person in this area, you know? I feel like everybody would be wanting his attention. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen, and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable. That's and the potentially hardest. The androids weren't doing any harm. Don't catch anyone's attention. The cops just oh, Kara does recognize him because we did see him face to face. We can't just stand by and let them slaughter us. Oh, this is so interesting. They look like just people with people who also. Following the okay, android so crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic Whoa. have been forced to withdraw, leaving Very the cool. for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. There's a oh the pigeon. Quick. He needs Do you think that's blood. the guy who took care of the birds? The has been confronted with a oh yeah 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 no it is it is. Oh it is oh. You're lost. Oh no. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. I love this. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all doubt that these defective 
machines have become a real danger for American society. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced Detroit to a state dead. of chaos. The There's a lot of voices. have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, I'm surprised that nobody's trying to talk to him. I think it's pretty straightforward from here on out. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. Ugh. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. It's okay. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. Oh, I thought... You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. And I'm surprised Marcus took that stance. He also shared a similar bond to another human. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. Your androids all over the square. And if the police are I wonder how fast this person will get the passports to us. I know they're only machines, but they... Alice. That's what Luther was trying to tell us. His wife did take his daughter. His wife took his daughter. That's why he was always abusive towards her and said it was her fault. You knew from the beginning. You just didn't want to see it. She wanted a mom. And you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Hmm. Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Carol. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Getting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. <laughs> Luther isn't a large part in the game, like role of the game, but. Ooh. You know I, I have a soft spot for the people that don't talk a lot, but when they say something, you listen. I had suspected it. You saw me struggle with that thought because we, once again, I feel like they kept stressing how she wouldn't eat human food. But her dad would have pulled out her, her LED then? Or did we pull it out a long time ago? We didn't even realize it. And does it take away, it doesn't change her dad's behavior to her or anything, right? But it does answer the question of, I thought it was weird that the wife left the kid with the father. But she's programmed to feel cold. She feels cold. Is there something wrong? We'll be 
be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. <laughs> I can't wait to see how many of y'all were distant with her. Oh my goodness. Luther's family. my heart Jericho leader all right we're back as Marcus we're short on blue blood and bio components our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them it's a disaster I should have sacrificed they're slaughtering myself our people that's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. And what? Determined. All we did was show them who we really are. No, that's not what I, I thought. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Your television speech sounded like a declaration of war. Oh, it's violence hard. only leads to more violence. You reap what you sow. This is all because of me. Remorse, bitter, angry. I mean, remorse. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. Mm. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Do I condemn everybody if I try to do dialogue? Staying hiding isn't the answer. We'll slowly die out. We need parts. We need components. That requires us to continue to do whatever it takes to gather those. But confrontation? That would be a whole dialogue war. Dialogue is the only way. I don't think she's our lover anymore. I will go alone. Okay. I gotta talk to them one last time. Don't do okay. this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. This is my chance to redeem myself from earlier. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. Find the right words and they'll listen. This is up to my words. What have my words gotten me so far? They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I'm going pacifist. Like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you.
kiss. <laughs> Thought he was about to stop at himself. I can't wait to see how many of y'all kiss versus not. <laughs> I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Hmm. Big decisions. Wait, what? Okay. Distressed. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. Yeah, this has all been inside of my brain. The entire time. Stop, Marcus. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! are your people. We're fighting for your freedom, too. You don't have to be their slave anymore. Two prototypes. I know you, our cause, convince. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. So doubts question undermine. So doubts. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Y'all knew this from the beginning. You knew this from the beginning. Connor deserves to be free, too. I might have just damned myself with Amanda, but whatever. We go deviant, she can't stop us, right? Come on, Connor. I am deviant. They're going to attack Jericho. What? I didn't see that coming. Which makes sense because they discovered it, of course. We have to get out of here. Shit. There's no time to talk. War is imminent. I'm surprised that's 
the only men that they're sending in there? Rats in a maze. Quick, Carol! They're coming! The corridor, over there. Follow me. This way! Quick! If we lose Luther, I swear... This way! There must be an exit further on. It's a shame that Connor went deviant just too late to save the war. No. They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're going to be slaughtered. Message, Simon. Helicopters blow up Jericho. Simon and Josh. Simon and Josh. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. Message, helicopters. Message, message. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Helicopters. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus. I won't be long. in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. Nope, we dropped the gun. We dropped the gun. We didn't keep it. We dropped There's the gun. There's more down there! Follow me! That's the worst clearing job I've ever seen in my life. They're gonna go right past an open... Come on. I'm sorry, but what is this? Find their leader. No! A 
Join you later. Josh is better run. Yeah. We're safe, Alice. Stop. Run, play dead. Get down. Don't move. You don't move. Choosing to not move. Come on, let's get out of here. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Nice. All right, QTs are not over yet. QTs are not over. <gasps> North. It's too late, Marcus. No. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. I can save North. Quick, 
Can I finally please breathe? <laughs> They detonated an explosive in the hold. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Everybody's alive. Is it over, Marcus. I got everybody out alive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> three and two go. I don't think I took a deep oh. breath that entire. <laughs> One of us. Scorched earth. <gasps> All right. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh man, press our one to view Connor's flowcharts. All right. We can we can flip through them. Kara's, Marcus's. All right, let's start with Connor's. <laughs> I did not think I was going to be able to successfully get all of them out without losing one person. So public opinion is still sympathetic from Connor's point. Wait, wait. Uh, from Marcus's. Okay, we're starting with Marcus's. Uh, the leader, Jericho, still. North is our lover. Josh is our companion. Simon is our companion. Let's throw those world stats on, baby. Let's go through this. Oh, man. You can't breathe at all during that chapter. Like, not a single bit. All right, Captain's Cabin. So we are Marcus. Okay, so we counsel with Simon, Josh, and North. Okay. Versus, I can't remember versus the other. We discuss with North. Oh, okay, yeah. So I say that I'm going to go up and talk to them at this point. Yeah, I think there's a lot that could have gone differently had I been more appealing to the public and tried to cast the more sympathy vote with them throughout our speech and then also sacrificing myself earlier, right? But there is something which is like, if I had, I, I can't tell at this point if I had sacrificed myself, if it would have resulted in my death and then the rest of them would have had to decide. I do think that Marcus is so important to this plot line. Um, so discussing with North and then 73% of people choose to kiss North. There we go. North leaves Marcus alone. Which is 94% of players. Yeah, that happens regardless of what you do. I'm surprised by y'all. What is that? Uh, Connor watches North leave. I guess you can choose not to. Oh, if North... Wait. I get... I'm not sure the alternate path there. In the corridor with... Wait, also, what is that alternate path? Oh, if I decide to take a different route. Oh, I see. Uh, in the corridor... Okay, so in the corridor, we are with... Yeah, yeah. In the corridor, we meet our team. We try to escape. We meet Lucy... So that was, I guess we could have not escaped there. At any of these points, I suppose our characters could pass. Marcus is in the corridor. Yeah, look, yeah, Marcus is in the corridor. Yeah, I think we could have chosen very different outcomes. We chose to intervene. So very early on in this chapter, and actually I think in the game, you kind of find out that if you can put faith in your QTE skills, intervening is the way to go and you will succeed in saving the person typically is what I kind of learned like right in that first situation so I was like okay I just have to put faith in my skills and and just go from there so we intervened every single time I possibly could so I dealt with the soldiers as the two percent that didn't deal with the soldiers uh Android escaped then we progress to the next corridor. Soldiers are coming this way and I climb away 62 percent of people climb I wonder I guess whoa you could die there too right I'm assuming you can die there too if you don't successfully get up there. Then we enter the well. We knock the soldiers out. 52 out of 89% of people intervened by knocking the soldiers out. Interesting. Those androids escaped. We approached the hold. We intervened again and neutralized soldiers. 3% don't neutralize soldiers. Josh escapes. Yes, Josh survived. In the hold with Marcus, 88% of players held the line. Soldiers interrupt and then 70% neutralize them. 1% didn't. And once again, if you fail to neutralize them, it looks like Marcus could have died there as well. Uh, triggered the countdown. So we triggered the countdown and then we made it back to the corridor. And then from there, North was shot. That happens. No. Try to escape. It looks like North is maybe not shot. Or maybe you can fail at escaping. And I don't know. And then you end up dying, I guess. But we chose to save North. Wait, I am so... Okay, faith in, uh, faith in uh, humanity restored. North is shot. 76% out of 85% of players choose to save North. And then we successfully saved her. 1% didn't. Connor protects Marcus and North. And then... Wait, so I guess Marcus doesn't protect them, I guess. 
And then we killed the soldiers. Marcus jumps and then we all successfully jumped. So looking at this, Simon 51% gets Simon this far to jump with him. 81% get Josh to jump with him. 75% get North and 68% gets Connor to jump with him. All right, let's peep. We've got this from uh, Mar uh, Connor's point of view. Connor's point of view. 13% completed. Public opinion sympathetic. Instability deviant. Hank is a friend and Amanda is betrayed. Whatever. Not even worried about it. Uh, all right. So we got there at Ferndale and then we spot Kara and then I missed three other. I missed a lot of exploring Jericho. That probably feeds into a big percentage right there. I did spot Rupert. We spotted Rupert. Yeah, that was kind of cool that you see the little pigeon right there. So back in the captain's quarters. We threaten Marcus, we confront Marcus, we become deviant. 73% of people become deviant. I think that that's kind of a no-brainer. They're kind of setting you up for the delayed deviancy of Connor. I, although it is interesting to see how many people went the whole way, like fully committed to his role in this. And I find that really interesting. Warren Marcus, I, I bet that makes for a really entertaining playthrough to see somebody who chooses to catch every deviant, do the most like software stable version of Connor. I actually think that would be more entertaining in some cases. Uh, we warn Marcus, then Jericho is under attack, which this can go very differently. Wow, this can go differently. And I have no idea. That's if uh, that's if you don't become deviant, then you do this. And I'm assuming that you kill Marcus. Mm, Jericho is under attack. And we just skipped all the way. There was something else that I could have done. So Jericho falls under attack, but there's three other options. What did I do right after we changed? That would have made for two different routes like this. Holy cow. I missed a lot. I guess I made Connor the side character now. Connor joins the others. He helps Marcus. Connor jumps with the others. And then Connor escaped with Jericho's people. 71% of players. It looks like this is the most... I think this has to be the most... The common outcome, I'd suppose, was 71% doing this. Yeah. All right. Now, this one, I am so interested to see how this ends. Driving to Jericho with Alice and Luther. Yeah. We look outside. We change the radio station. Mm, we meet Marcus. There's a one-off thing right there with the upstairs. Do you see that? We meet Marcus 90%. He agrees to give us some passports. We get to hug Alice. So we choose to hug Alice there, which transforms us into, whoa, if you don't hug Alice, it still would go to Kara and Alice in the corridor, I suppose. Kara and Alice are in the corridor, 90%. Then you escape with Luther, 76%. Mm hmm. Luther opens the door 76%. How many people leave Luther? The crossroads 83 or 89%. You run to Luther and 65% of players help Luther. I could see how maybe in that moment, especially with like, look, Luther is a, he's a tall man. All right. He's tall. I don't know how much we could actually help in that situation. So I could see if maybe your thought process was, it would result with putting Alice in danger, which it kind of does. And maybe you couldn't successfully help him to the same extent. We got Luther to safety, but we don't know Luther's status right now, y'all. We don't know Luther's status. But Luther could have died there, it looks like. Yeah. Leave Luther hidden. And then you run towards the exit. Here we go. We open the doors. The android enters, but is shot. I guess you don't open the... Yeah, if you don't open the door. Wow, 68% of people do open the door, though. I'm actually really impressed with that number. And we fight back. Could you have gotten Kara killed there? If you don't fight back and you lose that battle? And then you escape the cabin. Kara flees. Try to escape. You almost reach the breach. Soldiers shoot at the crowd. Here we go. This is where it gets interesting. 58% of people play dead. And 62% of people remain still. Interesting. It actually... There's multiple that... Yeah, you could still get to the point where soldiers close in from the other paths as well. And we remain still. I'm so glad that paid off. And then we leave Jericho and Kara and Alice escape Jericho. Ha! Ah! 
All right, crazy, but everybody is still alive, so I'm going to consider that a victory in the grand scheme of things. Things do not look great for Jericho and just androids as a whole. But overall, I think even with hers, the public opinion is pretty sympathetic and Alice's family and Luther's family. So what we're looking in these last few chapters is, does Luther survive? Do we get across the border? What happens for this whole entire cause that we started, this whole movement? What's the outcome for Marcus and North and everything? So I will be right back and then we'll find out. November 10th. Marcus would feel about this. Would he be more reflective? I think he'd be heartful. I mean, he even told North that he was like a father. At one point, he looked at him like a father. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. Conflicted. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. Advice. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? Despairing. Emotional. I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. Mm. <sighs> this is rich. Wow. No words. What's funny is he started this. Like, actually having him sent to the junkyard, in a way, he kind of started this. An old church. Oh, man. Talk to your people. Start at this side and go over. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. Guess they were using me. Hmm. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. I do trust him, though. I mean, Connor, Connor, Connor's character and everything. And he did prove himself. He saved us back there too. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. Hmm. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. Really? If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. 
Never tell for me unlikely that. events to take place. Be careful. He's actually sending us out there to do it. All right. Oh, car is still here. Josh, my man. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Mm. Nice. Also, there's a Jerry. Look, there's a Jerry behind us. Before we talk to Kara, we'll want to talk to everybody else. There's Simon. Let's talk to Simon next. Mm. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. <laughs> so much pressure. <laughs> Wherever you need to go... We'll follow. We'll follow you. I'm just glad he's alive. For once, I'm glad I didn't do, uh... I didn't do Connor's playthrough, right? My women. Situation. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. Survivors. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city? Yeah. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. The wound. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. I didn't get brownie points for that. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. She thinks I'm cute. I reckon that's a really vulnerable thing for them to go down to their, you know, the core of the components. You should have asked about the camps. I wonder if it would be a way to save those that have been rounded up or are they killing them right when they get there? I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. And Luke. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. The passports. Marcus. Save our people. I'm 
platform. <gasps> Is there anything else for me to do? <sighs> Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. Mm. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Public opinion is sympathetic as it stands. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities. Maybe if the public opinion wasn't sympathetic, then I would go with the revolution without a shadow of doubt. But a demonstration with their already sympathetic towards us? But how many people am I willing to sacrifice for this? But if we launch an assault, will they not destroy the androids as soon as they see us coming? But our public opinion is sympathetic, and I feel like that is enough to base and to sway them with just a demonstration. I get, I get that at this point it wouldn't be out of, it wouldn't be crazy for us to do a revolution. It wouldn't be, but also, the decisions, like a lot of these decisions to strike us down are made at these upper levels and that's not the, I don't believe that's the mass public's opinion. Like, look at that. The mass public's opinion is sympathetic. These actions, these violent actions towards us have been from administrations and from departments and, and things within our system, but I don't think that's the mass majority of people that agree with what is happening. There are more Carls out there. There are more, like, oh, what are some of the other humans that we've run into? There have been humans, you know, that we've run into. And I'm standing by two statements. I'm going to make my decision on two statements that Marcus has made. An eye for eye and the world is blind, right? The world goes blind. But two, he said that we are better than them in every single way, and yet they are our master. We are, if even whoever, right, better or worse or whatever, like, there's no denying that they are superior in their creation, right? In their strength, their systems, their AI, all of that. So with that, we can be the symbol of ending this stupid, vicious cycle. And I believe that there's more people out there like Carl. I really do. So we're going with demonstration. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? I didn't just waste an opportunity there, but oh, all right. So we get to see it actually from all three of their standpoints too. Um, that's cool. You get to see it from all of their standpoints, like back to back. All right, I will be right back. Out. The last break of the game. Okay. So we paid our respects. Forty-seven percent pay respects. Carl died and broken. Carl can't survive, though. He dies no matter what, right? Whoa, hold on. There's a very different outcome there. Interesting. I have no idea. I, I, I couldn't even think what that would be. 
All right, Marcus on sacred ground. We talked to North, so we did talk to everybody. 51% of people talked to Simon. And 68%, okay, okay, no, no, that makes sense though. Because we talked to Connor and out of 69% of players, 68% spare him. Mm, and then we, oh, wow, so interesting. Okay, so it's really important to note that out of 86%, so you have to remember 86%, 46% of players choose peaceful protests. So it is actually majority choose peaceful, but just a hair. That's still pretty close to 50-50. Um, well, I guess not. it's not that close, but yeah, 46 out of 86% of people. But that's interesting. Oh, because there's different outcomes up here that lead into ultimately Marcus choose to protest for his people for 40, 48%. Hmm. Knight of Soul. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, I guess Connor could have something here? Connor could have a part to play, but we didn't get Connor's part to play. Oh, could he have a part to play if he hadn't gone deviant yet? I wonder if they capture him and then maybe they deal with him here. Maybe this goes entirely different if you choose not to. Hmm, okay. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic mm. communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please. Madam President. Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Madam President. Madam President. Uh, recall centers are Madam President. public opinion. Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Madam President! That's a good answer. Please. Jericho Assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Please! Foreign theft. Deviants. Is it true that a large number of deviants are still on the loose? We don't have the full reports at this time, but if so, I can assure you they will soon be apprehended and destroyed. Please! I believe she's answering most of them and not really Madam saying... Madam President! Recall centers? Madam President! Please? Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Thank you. That will be all. She almost has an accent of some sort. I don't know. It sounds like she has an accent. All right, here we go. We gotta get Kara across oh no 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 this is connor oh oh man connor model 313-248-317 i'm expected identification successful okay Go ahead. Wow, that's such a cool. Okay, that's pretty sick. Uh, entrance. 
That's super cool. It's like a hive. Out of the frying pan into the fire. My success is important. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. Mm -hmm. But I have my orders. I don't like it already. Who is exactly expecting me as well, you know? Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 747 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Why am I having red around me? Everything's pristine. I don't think we're gonna be finding any magazines. <laughs> Those apple trees? I think they are. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Which one? Warehouse? Access authorized. Reach level 40. Oh. Neutralize the guard. Stop the elevator before. Reconstruct. Okay, let me see this. Could go there and then go there. Well, wait, he's got a gun, so I'd want to neutralize him first. And then I would go. Oh, but he pulls really quickly. I'd have to kick him. Do that. That guy pulls the gun out. I don't know. That doesn't look great, but I guess we're executing. I feel like I should have used the panel, but here we go. <laughs> <Going>. <laughs> be the most violent kills we've seen. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. Please indicate your identity and destination. <gasps> Nobody hears that? Agent 54's voice? Agent 54. Level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Take me back. Okay. This is good, this is good. Reach the bus terminal. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time, we've gotta move fast. 20 minutes. Let's talk to her. We can spare a moment and talk to her. Are you all right? Luther. I'm, I'm really cold. Deactivate, leave on. Be okay. I I don't want to deactivate those programs on her. I believe she'll be fine. I really, I do believe she'll be fine. Do I have any other option? I think I have to pick it up. Oh. 
Heavy rain and infinite and beyond. Come on. And something else. Did you see Let's that? See here. That's cool. What a cool answer. Beyond two souls, was it? No. Please don't hurt me. Shut up on your knees. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. Maybe I should have deactivated. We're going to make it, Alice. I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I say! Are there many more? Look at me like brats. The more you look, the more you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. I only have one shot to do this, too. Hurry up. Get in. Go. I don't know. It's so hard to see all of the corners. There's so many different ones. Luther? Look over there. Is it Luther? Luther. No. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We have to help. We can't just leave him. They're going to kill him. We have to save Luther. Okay, let's go. And I won't back down. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to... Got orders to check all civilians. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Be careful. No. no! Please! Find a weapon. Do I have other options besides that? I guess it really is just that. I thought I picked up a gun, didn't I? Approach slowly. Carol! Shh, shh. You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Come on. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. Jerry! We don't know how to thank you. Go, before they see you. Come on. Alice! Luther! I we thought you were dead. Stop. This isn't the time. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We gotta go. We're close, but we don't have much time. Go, 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 go. This is horrible. Go. I also think they're gonna throw some false, like some false drops in here, so we need to wait. Go, go, go. All right, we're getting a save point. I don't think we're out of the woodworks yet. Oh, shoot. Do we have our passports? A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. How much time? I have nine minutes. The last bus departs in nine minutes. Checkpoint is risky, but three minutes. Wait, 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 and then the detour takes 11 minutes. We would miss the bus. 
the the reality is we can't. We have to go risky. Detour will make us miss the bus. Come on, we have to do this. I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Car broke down. Alice excuse. Curfew? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's cold. She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Trust me, we're nervous too. Hey, wow. wait a minute. You forgot your IDs. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. No, 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 he never gave us our IDs back. Don't do anything, Luther, you hear me? They're gonna shoot. Don't. They're gonna kill Alice. No. Do nothing. You forgot your IDs. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're not out of it yet, though. We're not out of it yet. Oh, I thought it was the IDs. Maybe I'm just... We are coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. This chain is way too small for her pendant. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. I stick by my choice. Here we are, the moment of truth. I will not back We're down next time. see that we did this peacefully. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now or we will open fire. There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will Supported. not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. I'm 
almost like we're walking on ice. I'm gonna lose somebody I care about, I know. Neil. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Belle Isle. Stay sharp. Oh, shit. Okay. I think I could have prevented that and I messed up. I could have prevented that. That's our guy. Covert androids. Have the Marcus ability. What? And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard's your spitting image. I know. Don't look at me like that. I was getting the conversion. I was. I don't. I think it had to have canceled. I thought I was doing it right. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. Oh, shoot. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Oh, no. Fine tickets. Oh, no. We're going to steal them, aren't we? I think Gary, Oliver Gary. likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Good check. One ticket. But it's a single ticket. An adult ticket. Security check. Please don't move. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and... Oh, never mind. I'm gonna return them on the floor. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. You... You've saved our lives. They have... 
had a baby. I'm sorry, Alice. No, there were probably humans. It's they could have okay. gotten more tickets. You did the right thing. We'll find another way. I know, Luther. I know. All right, let me scan. Maybe we'll have some good luck. Maybe it will be like karma. You know? Please don't move. Surely somebody... Find another way to leave. Thank you. There's nobody else? Nobody else? What, what's over here? Can we even go over here or is this bad? Adam! Kara, quick! Follow me! Adam? But Alan, Adam didn't want to help us. Rose. Rose. Oh, thank God you're alive. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. Mm. What about the others? They're in there? They're checking for androids on the border. But I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? We're taking the bus. We don't have tickets. Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. You know what, that's probably why I didn't remember them going to Jericho, is I think they do sneak across with a canoe, but I didn't remember it. Like, I remember that specific part, but I don't remember this whole, the whole bush thing. What if we saved other androids? Well, they had a baby. I don't know, they, they probably were human. I don't know. I still feel like I did the right thing. We do need Connor though, we need Connor's backup. We gotta finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Finish the barricade. Reinforce the barricade. There's the car. Or the bench. I feel like the car is kind of excessive and they're watching my every movement. So I need to kind of do like the least crazy thing, right? Breaking the park bench, breaking the car. I don't think we should I think we should go for the car over. Yeah, I'm thinking the car only because. Hey, help me! The other stuff is kind of like breaking the area and like the the city, you know. Although this was somebody's vehicle too. It doesn't result in the same destruction of property on Detroit. Right, that should do it. Oh, never mind. We're destroying. Okay, we're taking that too. Okay, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> they all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Thanks, Josh. Hopefully, my girlfriend feels the same way. been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. Inspire. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here.
The person might have needed something different than that. Oh! I know what things are a little, you know, this is not exactly the right time, but whatever. They defy us. Androids have taken to the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. Detroit is already in the grip of a national product recall, with androids seized from every home and business to be destroyed by the authorities as a precaution. But now, a group of androids, thought to be connected to the recent android terror activity in the city, have gathered in a terrifying show of force. Police and military authorities are in attendance to protect civilians and deal with the threat, but the androids have barricaded themselves in a fortified position and seem to be angling for an armed confrontation. President Warren is said to be aware of this situation. Detroit Police's Captain Fowler, a senior officer in the Android investigation said, the recent or the safety of Detroit's people is the first priority. We hope to bring this matter to a swift conclusion and refocus on collecting androids as soon as possible. The story is still developing. We'll bring you live updates. Feed lost. Whoa. I really do need to send a message, a message to the journalist. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Hmm. I think it's hard because they also are met with a ton of that feeling, but surely not everybody feels like that. Oh, shoot. No, 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 I'm not ready. I wanted to send a message to the journalist. What? How am I supposed to... Ugh. Am I sending a message to the journalist? I should have talked to more people. How was I supposed to know? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Oh, let's get scary. You're like, no, I'm not ready. Oh, let's light the bonfires, by the way. Maybe we'll get the, like, pyromaniac achievement unlocked or something. Whoa, somehow the other one started, too. See if there's another one to light. There is another one to light. I don't want to die. It's more like burning my finger than lighting that on fire. There should be one more that we need to light. Talk to this guy. Oh, I see the, the batons on the ground or something. There's one more thing. Uh, that's the reading. Remember, it's the only thing that kills me is it doesn't go away even after you've read it. So we've got two and then we've got three. Marcus, we found what you asked for. What are those? Okay. Send a message to the journalist. Let me go talk to North first. Oh. And also send him. Oh, I can't. Oh. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. Or maybe. Desperate regrets, grim, desperate. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Mm.
It's like now is not the time to kiss. Oh, is she following me now? Are we checked on your people? Send a message to the journalists. There was one more though. No, it was just that. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's send the message. The nail gun? There's some journalists over there. Oh. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Yes, okay, so we need to be very specific. Free. Equality. I'm struck between equality and free. Alive is always a really good one, but I think we need to be straight to what... But then do you appeal to them by saying we're alive before you're saying like, hey, we want equality and we want freedom? Should you start by the very basics that like we are alive and we should be treated the same? That's where I'm like... I'm gonna go with free. We are... Jericho. They're getting closer. They're moving in. They have their orders. They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Hmm. I need to Marcus. succeed, Connor. Marcus, come look! He's gonna offer a deal in exchange for us. Come on. You have my word. <laughs> we won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. We said that we're doing the peaceful route. This is the peaceful route. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. This is what I should have done sooner. Like back when I sacrificed myself, you know? But two things. If we're gonna sit here and say that we're gonna be peaceful, then when they come to say that they want to talk to us, then we show them we're willing to talk. That we're not just waiting for the violent attempt. And those journalists are watching this every move. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but... Huh. None of you will be destroyed. Other demonstrations? What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. Mm-hmm. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Not afraid. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to... really... care about her. You didn't want her to die. Do you? You know, you could both be free. There's no freedom for them. You could forget them. about all this. You could... start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. 
Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. You think for a second... For a second that they would actually let us walk away from this? Absolutely not. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? They're going to much. Connor, did I fail as Connor? Did I really fail as Connor? I can still succeed as Connor. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Connor. We your have friend's to... life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Convinced. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Hank. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Sorry, Lieutenant. I have to. Oh! Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? I got it, though. Why did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? <laughs> I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. I should have ah! saved Hank. Oh, no. Look dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Shoot. Transfer. Come on, 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 please, please, please. Huh? Well done, Connor. But this, this is just the beginning. Hang's not dead. He's still alive. He got shot in, like, the knee. But he's still alive. Oh, whoa! Jesus! Uh, uh, if anybody had told me that I was gonna get shot, <laughs> saving an android... Everything will be all right, Lieutenant. I'm gonna get you out of here. Shut, uh, shut the fuck up. You told it's me to. too late. late. No. Look, I'm just gonna go see my son again. Looking forward to that for a long time. Kick the shit out of humans. We screwed things up long enough. Uh, I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you, Connor. Yeah. I'm gonna.
really liked him. But I had to make wake the right up. decision. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. You could have done this sooner. Wake up. I needed to help them. Wake up. Far more people would have died. And I spent that whole time building a relationship with him only to let him die. I don't know, maybe he would have survived. I don't know. I don't, I, I actually don't know the outcome if I choose to save him. Anybody see you? No, no, no. I, I don't think so. You got oh, I don't know about this. Money. Yeah. Wait. Here it is. Okay. Your boat's over there. They got border patrol in the banks. And I couldn't boat. understand why my mother don't wanted start to help your engine you guys. Until you're out far enough. Okay. Just Seeing what Marcus room. is doing. Good luck. Made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. You and me both. Let's say our goodbyes to Rose. We owe her our lives. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. It's interesting how so few people recognize her. Can you take good care of yourselves? Okay. I'll see you on the other side. first there's a ton of border patrol freedom is just across the river you got it let me help you Waiting to help us push. <laughs> yeah, that'll make things a little bit easier. <laughs> we're not we're not clear yet though. Enough out. Let's get that engine going. I'll get it. I'm surprised they're doing that. That would be so. I mean, I guess it would get you across a lot faster, but I feel like it is. You okay, Alice? Use the stick and arm. Get on the other side. There are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world. Play music and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. 
we'll be like a family. Huh. We won't have to be afraid anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There won't be anybody giving us orders. No masters, no, no slaves. We'll start a new life. A life of freedom. What about you, Carol? What will you do? What will I do? I'll learn to live. To love. Find out who I really am. Surrender, accelerate, protect Alice, use Luther, plunge. We can't feel cold, right? We can't feel cold. Jump quick! Is it... Is it really standing death? too soon we should just slowly like push it underneath i don't know we need to turn off her we do need to turn off her capability to feel cold though we have to turn that off for her yeah oh my gosh we need to row we can't afford to put the engine back on there could be more we've gone are you all right luther what? Luther. But we were just in the water for a second. I don't want you to die. You have to continue the journey without me. I'm the most extraordinary person I ever met, Alice. I was a machine. Of Carol. Yeah. You promise? I guess it was because he was already injured. I chose my choice made him die, I'm assuming. <laughs> the boat is leaking. I should have accelerated. We're too heavy. We're going down. We have to get to the other side before we sink. Reduce the boat's weight, reach to the other side. Accelerate. I know, we should have dumped his body, I know. Come on, come on. Is that my only option? Oh. I'm sorry, Luther. I don't understand why he had to die. That's brutal. Why did they make you do that on top of everything else? Reduce the boat's weight. Oh, the motor. I could have removed the motor this whole time. I didn't have to drop his body. Maybe you do have to do both. You probably have to do both. We're not gonna die, Alice. We're gonna make it. We're gonna be free. Oh my god. Clara. Depends on it. Oh no, it's getting damaged. Come on, we're so close. I can get in, I can unfreeze, and then she can, she can live. Please. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! 
but Connor. Not killing any of them? song that Chloe sings. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. I should have kissed her. Hold on just a little while longer. I should have kissed her. It would have showed that we have feelings and we can love. Hold on. Just a little while longer. Hold on, just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on, just a little while longer. Fight on. I should have kissed her. Just a little while longer. Pray on, just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything. The, the deviance. The deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while. to stand down it looks like <laughs> yes the military is withdrawing <laughs> at dawn today november 11th 2038 thousands of androids invaded the city of detroit isn't that better instead according to our sources they originated from cyber life warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants given their overwhelming numbers and the risk yeah. of civilian casualties i have ordered the army to retreat the evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment 
In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain, the events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you may God bless the United States of America. <laughs> you did it, Marcus. We did it. <laughs> this is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. We lost, I mean, we lost a lot of, we lost a lot of people, but. <laughs> Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no. Oh no. No. I have a... There's an always an exit. There's always an exit. The touchstone. It's gotta be the touchstone. There's always an exit built into our programs. Amanda? Amanda! What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. <gasps> she knew you I would. You just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! My touchstone. It's gotta be the exit. It has to be the exit. There's got to be a way. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is. Where is my touchstone? Is that the touchstone? There's only two things I can interact with. One is my grave and one is the touchstone. It's gotta be the Why touchstone. I see it. There's always the... I was wondering what the purpose was for it this whole time. Come on. I was touching it the whole time. I didn't know. Yes. Come on. Come on, Connor. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. <laughs> now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now... We are free. We are free!
wonder if kissing North would have moved them the same way. Everybody loves the love story, you know? her by getting her in the water. I killed her and Luther. <laughs> if I turned off her feeling of cold, maybe if I deactivated her cold? You can't do that to us. You cannot do that to us. Oh. <laughs> yes. I would have been absolutely distraught if they'd actually killed Alice. Is that it? Oh! <laughs> we need to see the final chapter results. So good! So well done. That's gonna play out. I will see you guys in a second with the end results and just my overall thoughts. All right, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Sorry. I didn't, I normally sit through the credits and everything, but I needed to just take a step back. That was a lot. There was so much that happened in this chapter. So I think let's start with Marcus. No, you know what? Let's start with Kara. Mm hmm. Oh, Kara. All right. Starting with Kara. Let's check it out. Public opinion supportive Alice family, Luther family. I guess he probably stays alive if you choose to maybe full speed ahead to the shore. I'm not quite sure. So we found a gun versus, I guess, not finding it. But we hide from the military. We snuck past that. We did save Luther. So we unlocked him being there in the first place. We found Luther and Jerry and we saved both of them. And this is out of 77%. Then 47% of people save Luther. That brings me so much joy to see that. Um, we grabbed a rock versus, I guess, not finding something. And then Jerry and Jerry flees and Luther joins the group. Then at the security checkpoint, we approach the checkpoint. Wow, so 20% of y'all go the alternative path. Interesting, which, I mean, funny enough, if you take the long route, you probably don't miss anything because we didn't take the bus to begin with, so it didn't matter. I mean, it did matter, but it didn't matter. Uh, we approach the checkpoint. I hand over the ID. Guard calls out to me. Uh, Luther gets nervous. 37% of people's Luther gets nervous. I asked him to stay calm. The guard approaches. I kept asking Luther to stay calm. I was pretty sure after he brought up other deviants, he really was thinking that we were human. And especially because we had this little girl, it was awesome that she was shivering because that kind of helped, I think, sell it, that we had a real child with us. So, and it also expedited the situation too. So the guard returns Alice's glove and we get to the bus terminal. We watch the TV, Alice meets a mother. The parents drop the bus tickets. And I think I remember, I do think that I got that same outcome in the first one. Um, only 21% of people return the tickets. Damn, I can see it. Like we know that they're human. So for us, we're probably like, look, they can get another ticket tomorrow. They won't be killed on the spot, right? Because if they scan them, they would scan humans. We also found Adam. Only 27% of people find Adam. Wait, there's a lot of different ways to get across. 
Oh my gosh. So Luther and all of us would have stayed alive if we had just stayed on the bus. I didn't have to follow Luther. I mean, Adam. I could have kept the tickets, which would have resulted with us being victorious, it looks like. There's two outcomes right there. I don't know. I don't know. At the river. We get in Rose's car. 28% get to the river. 28% get out of Rose's car. 10% observe the Canadian skyline. 13% talk to Adam, which makes sense because he's off in the corner. I don't blame that for a second. And then we talk to Alice. 7% dive. 7% dive. Coast Guard opens fire. Luther died. 16%? No! So out of 28%, Luther died. So he can survive or one of us three die. I think at, I think one of us three die no matter what it looks like, right? It almost looks like one of us three will die no matter what. Cast Luther away. I know we had to, I know. I think, I don't know. I don't know. The boat lightened, dispose of the engine. I guess maybe just disposing of the engine would have made the boat lighten. I actually don't think the boat lightning or lightning came from casting Luther. I don't know. Then we reached Canada on boat. Car and Alice survived is 8%. They both can die. So we did, I mean, I really am upset that Luther died because I think Luther was one of my favorite characters. Like he just had the kindest soul out there. And so I really am sad to see that he passed away there. I really thought I was so worried that we lost Alice as well. We didn't, thank goodness, but... Oh, that's Marcus's revolution chart. Oh, we don't use that. We need to see the demonstration chart. Interesting that it gives you both options. Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I gotta go to the next one. That's right, because you can choose three different ones. So public's opinion supportive. Jericho leader officially. North was our lover. Josh was our companion. And Simon was our companion. We did the Freedom March, 52%. 12% kneeled. I, I know that seemed like a really weird option because I feel like it's like rise up, uh, you know, when you're living on your knees, you rise up. I don't know why I chose to kneel down. I guess I was like, try I should have gone with the hands up or the fists up or anything else. I guess I picked it because I was like, I was thinking about what might be most dramatic in the public's viewpoint from the reporters. And I was sitting here and I was thinking about it. And I was like, people on their knees, like, you know, hands behind their head saying like, I give, like I'm surrendering, right? To a certain extent, I'm here peacefully. I don't mean no harm or anything like that. I don't mean any harm. So that's why I kind of picked Neil. So we use the abandoned car. Like I told you guys, I didn't want to like uh, break the surrounding environment, even though it didn't matter because they dragged it anyway. But we got to talk to almost everybody. It looks like there was one thing left that we did not do. We negotiated with Perkins, mm, but we refused the deal. I wouldn't say we negotiated, but it was more like he offered us a, a delicious deal that we rejected that I will never regret. The soldiers attacked the barricade. Oh, so interesting to accept the deal from him. Oh my gosh. There's so many different webs in this final chapter. Marcus is cornered. North joins him, Josh joins him, Simon joins him. So I successfully saved everybody during that spot. Soldiers raise weapons and I chose to sing. We had the availability to kiss. And I think that that would have resulted in the same thing as well. Because I think that the public needed to just be brought together by the same moving moment. And that was definitely it. Public reacts to the Android's last stand. President orders soldiers not to shoot 39%. That is alarming. 39%. And androids won freedom for the moment. That's really interesting that they word it like that too. They won freedom for the moment. Connor's last mission. I gotta skip to here. Connor at Cyberlife Tower. All right, so we got to the HQ. Once we got inside, we attacked the guards. 72% of people attacked the guards. We hacked the elevator, right? 70, all right, so most people were successful in this. The cameraman... Uh, was functional. I did not peep the camera. So that must have been something that would have happened before you press the button in the elevator. I think you could probably change where that is. And then we eliminated the guards. RIP. Initiate Android conversation or conversion. This is what I want to see. 
No. I'm a part of 11% that sacrifice Hank. Two of my top biggest mistakes in this are not choosing Hank, obviously. Not choosing Hank. But I wonder if the androids wake up if you if you don't choose to sacrifice him, right? Is it possible that the androids still wake up? I don't know. I did do the conversion. Yeah, 10% swap and then 9%, the new Connor dies in the old body, which was actually kind of a loss if you think about it as well. I think the best outcome would have been to save Hank and then also save our alternative self, you know? Yeah, that was a really big turning point that I didn't like. Just a choice that I, I, I was not a big fan that I did, but... Yeah. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. Oh. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Of course. Of course. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. Wow, what a strong ending, too. And then I guess if you do replay through, she's not there anymore? Or I guess, oh, if you do a new story. Yeah, you'd have to do a whole new story. I know that there's some extras. So I just want to say that... <coughs> sorry. I told you guys I really want to do kind of like a bonus video where I get to see the actual outcomes from some of the stronger points. Now, we're not going to go down the web and see every single thing that I could have done differently, but I am going to try to see, like, I want to give you guys my reaction to other results and outcomes, especially because there were so many other decisions, like the revolution, um, Connor's alternative style where he stays consistent with his actual programming and and everything like that so with that I also want us to flip through the artwork and the videos and and just kind of peep all the bonus material too so we're gonna do that in the next video um the next video isn't gonna be right like it's not gonna be right after you see all of this I think I got it it'll take me a second to like get that together um but holy cow guys what a journey what a trip the emotions i found it was really interesting because i think a lot of times when i'm gaming once i cry one like once it's really hard to con it was just so many i kept getting hit with emotional waves that i just wasn't able to cry by the end with alice and that doesn't take away from it just because i can't cry at a scene doesn't mean that it's not as heavy as an impact as any other part i just feel like i need to say that because i know i cry a lot and I must be dehydrated or something because a lot of this story just hit me right in the feels, but a very deep story that has so much depth and meaning to it. And honestly, just a very like introspective, other people's perspective, just also having you think about the future, like as technology continues to develop, what does that mean? What does this mean? I mean, all of this, it's just an intriguing tale end story to say the least and I mean just really strong points that you can pull from the game to kind of use in your everyday I mean every single story has lessons to be learned from them right and this is no exception to that by no means so I really like reflecting on it and it's gonna take me a lot to reflect on it I'll be interested to see what points I kind of bring up with you guys in future videos but I think that Marcus's story is an impossible one. Like to be put in a role where you're making the decisions for an entire group is not an easy, that is not an easy thing to do. And he shouldered it fairly well. I, I really stand by doing the peaceful protests. I find it a little bit ominous that they say for now, but that's a fair point, nothing's certain, right? 
just because you you won it for today doesn't mean that the battle ends at where this story ends right it continues to go on connor's story so intriguing even down to fighting to the last minute he was created because she probably knew he was going to go deviant and they had waited it dormant for that moment when they could do something um because either way she thought she was in control this amanda figure i do think that the creator I'm surprised he didn't play as a big of a role as I guess I expected. I suppose he'd play a bigger role if we had ended up choosing to choose the option with the answers. We would have saw a little bit more of insight into the creation of androids and why he probably developed them to be deviant. So there are a lot of questions that this leaves me with um, at the same time. And then Kara's story, I mean, we have just, I, I feel like I'm being a dead horse at this point when I talk about the importance of each character, but Kara's, all three deviants, changed by different circumstances, but overall, all became deviant over an extremely moving thing that um, pulled empathy or these human emotions, right? And that was what caused them to go deviant. I think with Connor, his was like, a lot of his was thinking so much about, like almost tearing himself apart with his internal struggle to the point of going deviant because I think he did know, like you could see, I liked Connor's story so much because it just takes a lot longer. So you get to see the inside, I think, of an android's brain much more over the scope of leading up to deviancy than we did with Marcus and Kara. I'm glad that they showed us the precursors to where before they did go deviant. But Kara is our incredible story of what we see, what it would have been like for anybody that was a part of the android population, but maybe weren't a part of Jericho. They weren't a part of the whole movement, right? But they were still impacted by it. They show us that kind of tertiary impacts that Marcus's story was impacting all of theirs at the same time. And it also kind of reminds us that everybody is kind of weaved together at the same time and our, our choices do impact others. And that is not something to be taken lightly. So, oh, okay. It was really an emotionally draining game. So I am afraid that that's all I have as far as insight for you guys. I try to, I know I can get a bit verbose in these recordings. And that's why I try to talk to you guys as we go along, because if I waited until the end of episodes or until the end of the story to tell you guys my thoughts, I think all I could say is it was good. I liked it, but I want you guys to kind of know what's going on in my head. and that these hit deeper than just a game that you're playing. I really love being thrown into all of these different situations that honestly question my everyday thinking. I, I don't think of a lot of these concepts every single day. And so games continue to not only help me, uh, <laughs> what is it, escapism, right? Help me escape, but they also teach us really valuable lessons if you're willing to pull from them in that sort of way. So just overall incredible game thank you guys for your time and for watching this i hope you guys enjoyed it um every outcome is totally different right i mean there are so many like i said this wasn't my first playthrough but in a lot of ways it felt like it because i did not remember most of this save i got the same i know i got the same ending with Kara because i remember the boat i didn't remember if i got in the water or not and then I don't remember. I think I had a much different outcome with Connor, and I also think that I failed my mission with Marcus. I remember I did a peaceful protest now that I see the outcome of that, but I think I, I feel like I did a lot better this time. <clears throat> Obviously, there probably is a more golden choice for the like outcome that you could get, but as a reminder, like everybody's everybody's gameplay is their own. And so I know we probably differed a lot in ours, uh, but you know, please respect my decisions and my choices as it was my playthrough and the same goes for, for y'all. So just with that, thanks for coming along with me on this. I can't wait to try some of their other games as well. I've only played this one. Yeah, so we've got Heavy Rain and I know you guys said that there's four others, including Heavy Rain. So there's three others plus Heavy Rain. So eventually we'll get to those. There's so many games I have to get through and I am so excited because there's no rush to it. I have all the time, well, fingers crossed, but I have all the time in the world, knock on wood. Um, but I'm excited to get through some other stories with you guys and just thank you for being here. And I will see you guys in the next game. Bye y'all.